Hello everyone, welcome back to Click Draw, and welcome back to Shard Light. We are about to enter the central storage room, where we will hopefully be getting the answers that Dan Tana is looking for. Not gonna do that just yet. Well, if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here, we'll just go with the old finder's keepers rule. Nice. I don't think opening this door is going to be quite that simple. I don't think this chute will- This must be where the crates wind up going. I wonder what's on the other side of the wall. That is one huge metal door. There has to be something fairly important on the other side. But what? Alright. Wait a sec. Before that... There's not much I can do. I remember seeing a diagram of one of those in a book Nelson had. When the alarm is triggered, the little clapper hits the bell and makes a noise. Well, just so happens we have a uh, box cutter. If I cut this wire, I don't know if the terminal will affect anything in the room. Uh -huh. well, now if the alarm goes off, the alert will at least be limited to this room. I can't read. All right. Verification code. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Let's light something on fire. I don't want to get the room. I'm not sure. Come on, come on, Amy. Okay, let's get some of this cleaner in the bucket. Yeah. It's nice. And now let's... I'm not sure how I... My cast iron bucket, I've poured... The cleaner will catch on fire, but there won't be any smoke. I need something else. Uh, oop. Smoke. How about this lovely... Something tells me this brochure will be more useful in here. Heck yeah! <laughs> uh, I should put this... My cast... It's got... Oh, I should put it down somewhere. Uh, this looks like a... Oh, a uh, standard... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, this should work. Oh, crap! What was I thinking? That was a close one. I need to find a way to stop the alarm from going off. Wait, what? Thought we want There's the alarm to go off, because then we can do emergency override. I'll take this back for now. If I cut this wire, I don't know if the terminal will affect anything in the room. I don't think that will have much of an effect on the alarm. I don't see... Welcome to the mystery... Any clues? Hey. What can I... Thanks for... It's what... <laughs> I love it when you're like... I think I'd get hopeless... Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Welcome. Alright. Staff locker room. Maybe there's something we missed in here. Maybe we could put the bucket down in here. Or not. How about in the office? Welcome. I don't see how. Okay, no, so it has to be in that room somewhere. <sighs> there. That should muffle oh. the alarm if it goes off. I had no I, I was just. Clicking it randomly, I did not. 
I clicked the rag on there randomly because it was another thing we got. So, all right. This looks like a good spot. That works. Now, let's light Dude, it up. There's nothing. That did it. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. There we go. My god. There's enough vaccines stored in here to treat the entire population for years. Danton was right. The government has been lying to everyone all along. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. Uh-oh. Amy Wellard, by order of the aristocracy, you are under arrest for trespassing on private property, breaking and entering, theft, and tampering with official Ministry of Medicine documentation. I'm sure there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Our orders are quite clear. You are hereby ordered to come with us for detention in Rockwall Prison. Don't I at least get some kind of trial first? We're here to escort you to Rockwall, not to answer questions. If you do not cooperate, we have authorization to shoot you on the spot. You are also ordered to return those stolen clothes to their proper location before leaving the Ministry. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Well, that ain't good. Wellard, we've got a visitor. Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on, then. I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Of course. Everyone knows that. What's your point? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy task. We still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? Oh boy. Okay. I did not... I don't think that I mentioned this in an earlier Let's Play. But this guy here... I I did not recognize his voice. I looked it up and I... Because I wanted to know if he was in this game. This is Abe Goldfarb. This is... This is like my favorite voice actor of... Uh, of uh, all of the Wajidai games, he's in a lot of them, and I, I guess it was, I guess it was the sound with the mask that kept me from realizing it was him. Anyway, it would be great. People could live normal lives again, not have to worry about scavenging or dying of the plague. Oh, of course, and when a rival nation caught wind of that prosperity and decided we had something they wanted? Um... We would be attacked, experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellard? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. Yeah, you the are. aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. In any case, I am genuinely sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. 
I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information I need. Oh dear. But how? With this. A gold ball on a string? A clever listening device my soothsayer came up with. It was placed in the handle of your crossbow. I have been tracking you in oh. order to ensure I learned the location of Danton's hideout. Oh no. You've been spying on me this whole time? Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? It was a test of loyalty, and unfortunately, you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government. Alas, I, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. So what, you're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. I find myself forced to tie oh. up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. What? Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. Sure you are, dick. Hmm?